My name's Matt. I'm in my shower right now. It's a nice one, that's for sure. Welcome to Renovation Ranch. It's been a while since we've had an episode, and I just decided, since it's been so long, I should just blow you away with all the changes we're gonna make in this episode. Psych, we're doing nothing. But what we are doing is something you guys have been asking for and something I've been wanting to do for a long time. I've just kind of been putting it off. We're gonna go explore the land today and see what we can find. Now, this land, I've only actually explored one time. I'll tell you why in a minute. It's because it's not very easy to explore. Got everything I need. Take a good look at me right now, because this is normal looking mat. Not too sweaty mat. I want you to see what I'm walking down right now too. Ugh. We need to, we need to get some upstairs. Ugh. But in about three minutes time for you, I would imagine, you will see super sweaty mat. This new land is about three times bigger than our current land. And our current land is actually pretty flat. Like there's a couple ravines and little hills and things, but overall it's mostly flat. Our new land is, well there's a flat spot on it, wherever that house is. Otherwise it's all hills and ravines and it's gonna be a lot of hiking. I'm trying to figure out how I wanna actually do this. I've hiked this land just one time, right before we bought the house and the property, I wanted to see what it looked like out here. And so I hiked about, I don't know, probably half of it. And it took me like a couple hours and I was worn out because it's summer in Texas and I was hiking up land <sighs> and so I just quit. I did set my watch so it can start recording our distance to see how far I walk. So far, 0.09 miles. So. Getting up there. Before we get started on this hike though, I want to say thanks to our channel sponsor, Turo. Turo is an online peer-to-peer -peer marketplace where you can share other people's cars. There are over 850 makes and models and it is in over 5,500 cities in the US, the UK, and Germany. I definitely look at fancy sports cars all the time, like that Corvette, also this Viper, or a Ferrari, or a Camaro, or a Bentley Continental GT. There's some cool cars you can get, but you also can rent normal cars like a Hyundai Sonata for only $31 a day, a Lexus for $69 a day, a Tesla. You can use Turo to get fancy cars to impress your friends, take a girl out on a nice date, or you can use it for totally normal cars like if you fly to another city and you just want a rental car to get around town. The prices on Turo are on average 30% cheaper than traditional rental cars, and Turo offers delivery to the airport, so you don't have to wait in those annoying lines at the airport. You can access Turo using the web or the app store. Use the link in the description below to sign up for Turo and use my promo code off the ranch for $15 off your first trip. We, <laughs> I said trip right as I tripped on something. We appreciate Turo's sponsorship. Thanks Turo. Um, what the heck, man? Freaking kids. This is so crazy. What I really wanna see is a rainstorm come across this valley here someday. I haven't seen a big rainstorm yet. It's so crazy. Deer. It's a radius, not warm. It's been dead a while. Scapula, humerus. What is this? This is a deer blind. If my detective capabilities are on par with what I think they are, there was a deer blind here. There's a scapula and a humerus right there, meaning he took about a six yard shot, boom, just hit the leg, knocked the leg off there. The deer ran that way, lost the rest of its leg where I found that other bone, and uh, probably got away. I would make a great detective. What else is crazy though, is that deer blind is up in this little nook here, where there is literally nowhere to, there's no line of sight anywhere, which I assume there used to be back when it was standing and they probably could see right down across this valley that is now covered by trees. So that deer blind, I don't know, that's probably a 20 year old cedar tree there. That deer blind has been there for a long time. That thing I would guess, I, I would guess just by the carbon dating that I just did, is I would guess that thing was built when I was 10 years old. And now I'm gonna have to clean it up. Thanks dude. God, look at that. <laughs> you should have put your deer blind right here bro, right here, right here, this is the spot. Yeah. All right. The problem is, I gotta go down there. The property line's 
somewhere I'm at the top of the hill. Off we go. Oh, this is gonna be bad. But I also imagine you guys are looking at this and thinking, man, that doesn't look that steep at all. Cameras make everything like half as dramatic as it is in real life, which is terrible for me because it'd be better if it was double. So you're like, holy cow, Matt's climbing a mountain and really I'm just like walking down the street. Oh, but it's the opposite. So it looks like I'm walking down the street when I'm worried I'm gonna fall off a cliff. This is why I wore jeans because this would not be fun to walk through. Oh, shorts, ow! This fence, this property line. So it goes down in that ravine. I gotta go down there because I wanna see it. There's my house. Way up there on the top of the hill. Let's figure this out. Oh my goodness. Hope Meredith knows where I am in case I get stuck down there. Can I even get down there? Oh yeah, that looks like a bad plan. Yeah, maybe we'll just go around. Hmm. Yeah, still got it. Thought this might be a better way, but looks like I'm like 10 feet above the ground here too. And that's another cliff there. I gotta get down there. But how? Not here. Yep, definitely not here. This looks doable. The problem with this is it's super hard and I'm going down, which means it'll be way harder. Oh, coming back up because I... Ugh, I'm going to have to come back up here. <laughs> I don't know. I brought enough snacks and water. I could probably hang for a couple days. Cool. There's a lot of really cool ravines on this place because obviously it's very hilly and so the water when it rains has to go somewhere. And so it carved out all these... Ugh. Ah, cool ravines. Whoa! Oh, I got a thorn in my hand. Not cool. I see fence right there, which is crazy. I passed a ton of land that I can't even get to. I mean, I could if I wanted to like climb through that. I don't. Nope, I don't. Okay, now I'm gonna continue following the fence. It goes back up this hill here. I have to go through that. Okay, I'm gonna put my camera up because I can't do it one-handed. Doing good. Property line. Right there. Oh, shoot. I could have waited like two more months to do this when it was cool. This actually would have been quite fun. But now it's, it's just super fun. Really warm. Hey, I like walking this property line. This is much better. So far my watch says I have walked half a mile in 30 minutes. So, pretty good pace. <laughs> I wish it calculated how high I have walked. How many steps up uh, I've taken. Uh, uh, uh. Ow, 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 oh. I was kind of looking for a nice flat spot where if I ever wanted to build a barn, I could. I feel like a dozer could come in and flatten that fairly easily. Uh, no plans to build a barn right now, just because we're still not 100% sure we're gonna be living here. Like, we think we are, but Meredith and I actually still need to really think on it. And luckily we don't have to do anything right now because for those who don't know, I had initially seen this property and wanted to buy it to flip it because it was in disrepair and I thought, I can, I can make this work and use it kind of as a little little business venture and adventure because I like doing this kind of stuff and I just thought it'd be really fun to try to put my effort into it and sell it for profit. And then showed Meredith and she fell in love and then I fell in love and so now we don't really know if we're really just gonna flip it or if we're gonna fix it up and move into it. <laughs> Spider web. Ugh. So that's yet to be determined. But if we do move in, later on we'll build a barn. For now, no barn, just just thinking about it. Man, scratch that, this area is way flatter. It's just full of trees, so we just have to cut all these cedars down. This wouldn't really need much dozing at all back here. Yeah, got a barn back here. And it's like on the other part of the property, we can't see it from the house, so Meredith would like that. And I would have my own man room. Man barn, huge, huge room. I was trying to figure out if that was deer trail or if there were two of them, like a four-wheeler trail. I don't think it could be four-wheeler trail because where I just came from, ain't no way a four-wheeler's ever gonna go through that. So I think these are just, yeah, there's just one. That's a deer trail. Obviously these fences don't, you know, they don't do a whole lot, so the deer come and go as they please, which is cool. Nice fence. This post is the corner of my property. It goes that way and that way. This neighbor obviously values having a nice fence. Maybe he has cows, I don't see any cow poop. There's some deer poop over there. But he values a nice fence. This neighbor and me 
obviously we haven't cared very much because there's our fence looking good looking good all right one side down <laughs> but let's keep walking i had to venture inward because there was too much brush on the fence further down for me to get through and now i'm in the middle and i'm kind of turned around my phone doesn't work down here maybe getting lost on my own property i don't know which direction i'm going now I think I'm going the right way. This is cool. So I'm also kind of scouting for new demo ranch locations. The problem is I need to clear a bunch of trees to get here because it was hard enough just to get myself here, much less carrying all the supplies and tools needed for the job down here. And targets, like those heavy metal targets. Ugh. But if I could clear a little path, we could make this work. I found the fence. I was going the right direction after all. What was that? Oh, what is this? It's just a string. I kicked it and I thought it was a snake. Mm -hmm. Just a string, we're good. This is so crazy, so cool. We got like hilltop, we got ravines, we got cliffs, we got forests. It's gonna be really hard to flip and sell this place. It is so cool. Get out of the way. One thing that I really like about where I shoot most of my videos is it's shady. This actually could work, like trim these trees up so they're not a bunch of low branches, just the tall ones, keep it shady. It's just so hot, you'll notice in the summertime, I film all my videos like in one spot and it's the shady spot because if it's in the sun, I get zapped, I can't do it. This could work, I just need to find a place with like a good backstop over here and like trees like this, totally, totally work. Is that a balloon? It's totally a balloon. Let's see, someone's birthday or what was the occasion? Rainbow day, I'll clean you up. I wasn't paying attention when I went to get that balloon. I think I came from this way. I mean, what's the worst case scenario? You know, I just get lost in the woods and uh, have to spend the night out here. That wouldn't be that bad. As long as Mayor came and looked for me. Mayor, Mayor. Property dives down there into a ravine and then goes all the way up. And I'm trying to find motivation to go up there. The ravine's cool. I've seen a part of the ravine. It was really neat and I wanted to like go through the whole thing. I also want to go all the way up there, which I haven't done. Let's go up first and see all that and then we'll come back down and then we'll walk the ravine. Ravine, guys, guys, ravine, mountain. Here we go. I have been walking for an hour and eight minutes, and I just hit one mile. I am going slower than one mile an hour. Awesome. Ow. And I'm really tired and sweaty. What a house. Well, potentially. <laughs> All right, I made it to the property line on this side. And I tore my jeans open. Man, these are my nice church jeans too. I think I earned a break, so, I'm just gonna take a break. I'll see you guys back in a little bit. I'm gonna pause my watch. And we're off. We're going sideways for a little bit. Then we'll have to end up turning and going back down. But I'm enjoying not going up for a while. That is for sure. And I'm making good time, finally. I like this just, you know, walking, not crawling, not climbing. It's much better. This is a really cool place because there's like a ravine that comes down through here, and then there's like a bowl over there that comes down to a ravine through here, and it looks really cool down in there. Never actually been up here, and I need to keep walking, but I just think that's so cool. And that's probably, I would guess, where I'll find my backstop for uh, Demolition Ranch stuff will be down here because it's just a big bowl and there's just plenty of walls everywhere so I bet you I'll find a really good spot down in there somewhere. Probably not today because it's gonna take a lot of cutting to get that spot figured out. Was thinking I would just walk over here. Wrong! It's another cliff. Not going that way. Or that way but that is a cool whoa don't fall. There's a cool like waterfall right there. Drops off that ledge and goes Way down there. Sweet, but not going that way. Okay, Ugh, I came way up so that I could cross the ravine. So this is it. It goes down to that like cliff down there. So now I'm over the ravine and I make my way over 
to the bowl. So cool. I want to see this during like a lot of water. That'd be awesome to see this thing full and flowing down there. Decided it'd be easier to just scoot down on my butt than try to walk. Yeah. This is the ravine. Oh, check it out. Yeah, this is so cool. And I think, ow, ow, ow. That was thorny. I think with a little clearing, it's where you could actually like just walk through here. It would be really a neat little place. We just need to get all the dead cedars and whatever this thorny tree is out of here. A neat little area for us to hang out, especially when it's raining. The first time I came down here, it had been raining that week and so there was a nice little stream going through here. All right, I've never walked up there. Let's go see what it looks like. This is cool. So water comes through the little ravine right there, comes here, hits this turn right here. You can tell it's carved out the hillside there. Hits this turn, comes around in here, turns all the way, does a 180, and then hits that turn and does a 180 again and comes and goes out there. So it literally loops back on itself and then keeps going. That's super cool. So two ravines actually join right here, one here and one here in this little like bath area. It's kind of cool. It's made like a hole in the ground and they join up and go downstream there. That one looks a little hard to get to. I'm going to keep walking up this one. I followed up and it splits again here and here. I'm turned around but I think this way goes back up toward the house. So I think I'm going to head that way. That one I think goes to the other corner of the property. But it is really hard. That part's super steep up that way. So I'm gonna head back to the house. This way, I think. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> if not, I'll be back looking for the right direction to go. <sighs> this is so cool. Oh, ow, ow. I bailed on the ravine. It was right down there. I came up right over here. You can see like that little hill there. There's a ravine coming there, a ravine going there, a ravine going over there, and it's just in the bowl. It makes it to where all these little ravines drain into the one bigger one. But they all got too small and too much brush. I couldn't climb through them anymore. I'm heading back up now. Ugh. Someone literally had to chunk this bottle to get it over here. Not cool, man. He could have just taken it home, thrown it away. That would have been the nice thing to do. I'm lost. Did I go Ugh, the right direction? Yay! I found it. Oh, I don't have to stay out here on the cliffs. <sighs> okay, back at the house. Guess in the comments below how far I traveled, okay? I'm gonna give you a few seconds. Comment below, take your guess. I want you to stick by your guess. How far do you think I traveled? to make me this hot and sweaty. I traveled a little over one and a half miles. That is it. I'm a guy who can run five miles. Any day I can run five miles. But out here, it's like crawling and climbing and pushing branches out of the way and trying not to fall off cliffs. I went really, really slow. <laughs> what do you think of the land? I think it has everything and that's what attracted us to this place so much. I mean, the house, of course, was incredible and I saw the potential in this giant piece of junk. Like that's that's how I'd say it. It's the most beautiful piece of junk I've ever seen. We love the house. We thought we can do this. We can turn this ugly duckling into something amazing. And then the land too. Like so much land and so much potential. There's just so many different areas on this land that I think are gonna be so cool once we get out and start like making them, you know, accessible by not just like walking through cedar trees. Like I need to make like a little four-wheeler path or something. Well, that's assuming we move in. We still don't know. I'm like getting ahead of myself. Like I just, when I walk out here and I, I just get so excited, like, yeah, someday I can make Dimmel's Ranch episodes way down here with all my stuff. And then I'm like, or flip it. We're happy where we are. We have no reason to move from our current house. We really like it. We love it actually. And we've made it kind of exactly what we need it to be. But it's gonna be hard after putting all the time and effort into this house to not fall in love with it as well. Thank you for watching Renovation Ranch. We are gonna have 
an actual renovation ranch video coming up very soon. Be sure to check back for that. I love you, and I'll see you next time. Hey, what camera is that number? Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell Mare.